Hi, Mary from Cycle Maintenance Academy here. It doesn't matter what bike you've got, you'll always get a puncture at some point. Today we're going to look at how to fix them. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. OK, let's start. Getting a puncture doesn't have to mean that your ride is over. With a bit of effort and knowledge, you can be back on the road in no time. What can cause a puncture? Penetration by a sharp object through the tyre, e.g. glass, thorns. Trapping the inner tube between the rim and the tyre. This is called a pinch puncture. It is sometimes referred to as a snake bite because the puncture forms two little holes. The valve rubbing against the valve hole because it is too big for the valve and doesn't have a valve collar. Because the tyre is worn, objects that would normally be deflected puncture the tube. Inflating the tube without checking the seating of the tyre so the tube pushes past the tyre and rim and gets trapped and explodes. Faulty rim tape causing the spoke ends or spoke holes to penetrate the tube. Not really a puncture, but the tube can go flat because the valve has failed. Why do we mend a puncture? You're unable to get a new inner tube. Because it is cheaper than buying a new tube. Because it's good for the environment. The tube can be reused instead of ending up in the landfill. Tools required. Pump. Tool that puts the air in the tube. It is fitted onto the valve. There are two fundamental types, hand pump and track pump. The hand pump is easier to carry, but a track pump makes tyre inflation to the correct pressure much easier. Puncture repair kit. There are two types, vulcanising and glueless. A vulcanising patch needs to be applied with a rubber solution, but it creates a strong bond between the patch and tube. Because the patch is flexible, it will follow the shape of the tube because glueless patches are pre-glued, they are less messy and much quicker to use. However, because they're not bonded to the tube, it's not as flexible and can come off. When can the puncture not be repaired? If the hole is too big. If the hole is too big, the patch won't be able to retain the air. Has an unusual shape. For example, a star-shaped blowout or a long cut. It is very near to the valve. As there is a thicker rubber around the valve and it's not on a flat plane, it's not possible to attach the patch effectively. In these cases, it will be impossible to fix the hole and you will have to replace the tube. The first task is to find the puncture and decide if it can be repaired. Pump the tube and listen for air escaping. Keep putting air in and eventually you should find the hole. If it is very small, then you may have to resort to a bowl of water. Once you have found the hole, have a look at the patch that you're going to use and offer it up to the puncture. Mark it while the tube is inflated. Put four lines in a cross with the centre where the hole is. Make the lines quite long as this is going to indicate where the solution goes. Now deflate the tube. In the kit, you'll find some sandpaper. You are going to use this to key the surface of the tube. Rub the sandpaper a few times over the marked area. Now open the tube in your kit. Although this is going to stick the patch to the tube, it's not glue. It's a vulcanising solution. You need to apply to a large enough area to cover the whole of the patch. And it needs to be thin. When it is put onto the sanded inner tube, it causes a chemical reaction that creates microscopic hooks as it dries. Because of this, I'm not going to apply the patch until the solution is dry. This can take at least five minutes, depending on the conditions. If it is cold or wet, it might take longer. 
Once it is dry to the touch and has a kind of dull matte finish, you can apply the patch. The patch has an orange side and a black side. Peel the foil from the orange side. This also has microscopic hooks that will attach to the prepared site on the tube and they will join together. Once it is on, push the patch onto the tube. You will see that the edge is thinner than the middle. This is called a feather edge. It makes the patch less likely to lift. Don't pick the plastic layer from the outside of the patch. If you do so, the patch will most likely come off. If you stretch the patch onto the tube, the plastic should break. You will be able to peel the patch off from the middle out. Your tube is now ready to use. You might want to inflate the tube to see if it has worked. Don't overinflate the tube outside of the tyre as the solution and patch haven't gone off yet. If the tube is going into a tyre, it can be inflated to the correct pressure straight away as the patch will be pushing on the inside of the tyre or rim tape. Before you refit the tube, check the tyre first for any debris that might stick inside and could cause another puncture. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful.